and we're back here on Inside the Ropes and we are joined by Imperium, one of the strongest forces in professional wrestling. How are you today? I'm great, thank you. All good, enjoying the weekend so far? Doing awesome, thank you very much. Yeah. Listen, I want to come to you guys first. You guys have been on NXT in the US a little bit more than you have, obviously now we're, we're seeing more. What is the change in NXT being like for you guys from the kind of old school NXT to NXT 2.0? What are the main differences for you? We went through pretty much all the stages of NXT and um, you know for us the transition to 2.0 was actually very very good because with so many uh, new people coming in, new characters getting developed and stuff, um, it really stood out more uh, how much we worked and how good we were and uh, how long we worked to get to this point. So um, I think we are actually one of the very few winners of the transition from NXT um, Black and Gold to NXT 2.0. Um, very happy with uh, where we are right now. Definitely working hard to stay there too. Yeah, like I said, I mean, a lot of things have changed, but I think we didn't change that much at all because we, we keep doing the same thing that we've been doing, staying true to ourselves and uh, believing in what we believe in. And with that, I think, um, the authenticity can't be faked, and I think we brought up the whole tag team division in the NXT 2.0, and we'll see where it goes in where it goes in the future. But we'll keep doing what we've been doing, working hard, and um, at the end of the day, it always pays off. And uh, Gunther, I've got to come to you now. Obviously, the name change is a big thing on social media. Yeah. I don't know if you saw the the Gunther from Friends Central Perk memes that were going around yeah. when the name change happened. How did you feel about the whole process? Changing the name, did it bother you? Did, were you happy with it? And has it changed anything for you, mindset-wise? I mean, in a career as a wrestler, I think it's very obvious that most of the people are not able to keep their name for their whole career. So, I expected it to happen at some point, but with the name that we chose I'm happy uh, it fits me and it suits me too and I think after a while the people will get used to it and then it will be fine I think it's a little bit of a trend right now that whatever people are used to when it gets changed yeah. that people kind of jump on it uh -huh. but change is part of life and a lot of people are don't like change in any direction and it's about adapting and yeah I will be fine and the question that you used to always get asked in every single interview was, when are you going to work in the US more? When are we yeah. going to see you more? And now we've fi we're finally seeing you more. What, what made you cave in and decide that this is, this is a more regular thing for you? Yeah, it was the right time now with everything changing. And it was also clear for us we need to be on the same, yeah, on the same side of the, of the pond at some point to, to go for everything. And yeah, I really like to live in Europe. And I waited it out a little bit. And in general, I was never a guy that really jumps into stuff right away. Uh, but the timing was just right with all the changes happening too uh, in NXT or in the company in general. So, yeah, I'm glad I'm here now. And I want to talk to all you guys about Triple H, obviously, you know, the, and the retirement announcement. He's been so pivotal in NXT. Um, what, what does he mean to you guys and how important has he been to kind of where you guys are at now? Well, obviously, like he uh, opened the door pretty much for all of us, right? Uh, 10, 15 years ago, it wouldn't have been possible um, as, it, as it is right now uh, for so many international guys pretty much all over the world. We have talent from all over the world um, in Orlando right now. And uh, when we first mo moved over here like five years ago, that is something that I never really uh, expected. Like um, I, was, I was working with, uh, with Walter like 10 years before that, and I thought, that's it. We were very happy with that because we did what we love to do, you know. And um, all of a sudden, everything changed. And uh, Triple H came in. He had this vision, and um, all of us believed in this vision as well. And um, I think all of us are very grateful for his vision, his work, his dedication, uh, the time he spent creating this, you know. Because if you look at it, it's not even uh, comparable anymore to to what it used to be. It's uh, such a big product, and it's grown so much. And um, I think. Uh, apart from him obviously being an absolute legend in the ring, um, we're all very grateful for what he did and what he created with NXT. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, if you look at WWE 15, 20 years ago, it seemed so far off. But uh, with Triple H, obviously he has the passion just like we do for the sport. And him creating NXT, he gave people all over the world the opportunity to come here and show what they can do. Um, we seized our opportunity and we kept working hard ever since. But uh, I mean, obviously if it wasn't for him, who knows, maybe we'll be somewhere else in the world right now. And uh, like you said, he's an absolute beast in the ring. So I'm sure after uh, what has it been, 27, almost 30 year career, he can look back and be very proud of what he's done. And uh, we're happy that he's feeling good now and he's in a good place. And uh, thanks to, uh, thank you to him. Yeah, I think the guys pretty much said everything. Uh, what a career really, right? 
It's like there are not many people that have a career in the ring like that. Um, yeah, that's all. And he was pretty important uh, to you getting signed, right? He was, was, was he quite an important part of you to sign, sign with WWE? Yeah, I was dealing with him a lot when I when I signed here and he was always very straightforward and honest and was good to talk to about everything. Uh, I only really had good experiences with him. And yeah, at the end you can only say congratulations on that great career in the ring, but as I understood it, he's going to be around in on the management part anyway and he did great things there, as the guy said. and. Yeah, he's good for this sport. Well, listen, Imperium, thank you so much. I'm not going to be on camera with you much longer because you're in much better shape than me and it's given me a complex. But uh, you've been watching the Inside the Ropes YouTube channel. Like and subscribe.